Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. This week, I'm gonna be wearing digital clothes. So I went to this website, DressX, and it turns out that they sell digital clothes that you can purchase. We need some. All right, we're gonna go to shop, shop everything. Okay, that cropped puffy jacket, I would wear that in real life. You know what I wanna know? Cause this stuff is a lot more expensive than I was expecting. What is the cheapest? Okay, we got some t- Ooh, I don't think I can even show that on here. We've got some t-shirts. I love a good oversized tee with some cool artwork on it, so. These are all on sale for $21. Oh, you know I need the Starry Night. Okay, below that we just have a lot more naked ladies, so we're gonna stick with the Starry Night. I'm so interested to see how this fits, because if it's not truly oversized, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> the new arrivals next. Whoa. These are so like video game-esque. What the heck is this? A glove? Wow. I think I want a pretty dress next. This one's kind of cool. Wow. Oh, it's shiny. <gasps> okay, this could be cool. Next, I think I want something that I would like actually possibly wear in real life. Some of these are pretty fake looking. What is this? Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> I know I said I wanted something realistic next, but. I love that you don't have to select your size so much. What in the, whoa. It glows in the dark. I need that. This gold dress though, I need this to exist in real life. Oh my gosh. Gary James McQueen is the designer. <gasps> He's related to Alexander McQueen. No wonder I love this so much. <laughs> and for our last item, we're gonna play a little game called sort highest price to lowest. <gasps> $1,400? Look at this thing though. Oh my goodness. This is wild. Inspired by Avatar. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> All right, let's add our final item to the cart. Whoever would have thought I'd be spending so much real money on fake clothes. Next step is to take photos. We picked out all of our digital clothes, but the artist needs reference photos so that they can fit the digital clothes to my body. We are starting with the oversized shirt in the Van Gogh Starry Night print. I think this is probably Van Gogh's most famous painting, if not one of the most famous paintings in the entire world. They said to wear form-fitting clothing for the pictures, so for most of them, I'll probably be wearing this sports bra and these black leggings. You look hot in those leggings. <laughs> Pursue Hope collaboration available October 23rd. Okay, here I go. Oh! <laughs> Shot. Oh yeah, there's some good ones. Yeah, these are cool actually. It's a few days later and I have the picture back. I'm nervous to open it. Why am I nervous? Probably because I paid $2,000 for all of this stuff. I mean, I guess I kind of see this as the same thing as spending real life money to buy digital items in Animal Crossing. Not that I've ever done that or buying a skin for a character in a game. I'm trying to defend this concept. I might change my tune depending on how well these turn out. Here's the before, and here's the after. Huh, not bad actually. I feel like it looks like I'm wearing it. I feel like there's something a tiny bit weird about like under my arm here. Not bad for 20 bucks. Outfit number two, this is the sun goddess dress. I had to pick the fanciest place in town to do this one, which is the Grand America Hotel in Salt Lake City. I thought about going inside the hotel and taking some pictures because it's really pretty, but it would probably be easier for the person editing the clothes on to me if I just kept the background simple. So we're going for this little like courtyard look back here. The dress is long, sleeve so I think I'm good to wear a long sleeve top and leggings for this one. Um, I want the lanterns in it though so maybe I need to come yeah like have a lantern on each side I think it'll look cool. It's really weird to pose for a dress that I'm not actually wearing. <laughs> Do I look like a goddess? You look hot in those leggings. <laughs> Pursue help launching October 23rd. <laughs> All right let's see how they did on this golden dress. Why does my head kind of look like it's floating? Um, okay, my hair looks pretty good. That was one part that I wasn't sure about if they were gonna be able to like edit around my hair. But there's just something about my face. 
right? Like the whole bottom part of the dress is very impressive that they got it to like bend perfectly like that. <laughs> Next outfit is the cloud dress. I thought it would be cool to find some water and get like the clouds in the sky reflecting on the water since it's like a cloud sky dress. So here we are at the Great Salt Lake. It's the weirdest lake in the whole world. <laughs> We're about to give some lake trivia. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about it. <laughs> Rude. It's like dried up anyway. Earlier this year, I took this picture here. Looks super cool, right? Like I'm just having a fun, warm, happy beach day. Wrong, because this whole beach was swarming with bugs. Tyler hasn't taken pictures of me ever since. Please don't be buggy. Please don't be buggy. It stinks out here, honestly. It always does. Do it for the video. I think it's dead brine shrimp. It's probably what stinks. That's what turns it. Pink. The shrimp? I thought the salt turned it pink. No, it's the brines that turn it pink, I think. <laughs> ew, the shrimps. Ooh, that's cool though. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. Why? <laughs> okay, we're done. Now we camp out till it gets dark. What? Yeah. Part of me isn't ready for the digital world to replace the real world. But on the other hand, it's kind of nice not having to like dress up to go take pictures. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, I'm so glad. I thought I was gonna have to go home with shrimp feet. The cloud dress. Here's the before and here is the after. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that was like a very specific arm placement that I did there. And the sleeves look pretty good. They even added a reflection in the water of the dress. Okay, that part's impressive. Good work there. <laughs> Like how they took the legging off of my leg in this one too. All right, the more I look at this one, the more I like it. Although I'm not quite sure that it would pass as like believable that it's real. All right, next outfit. We're still at the beach. Been waiting for it to get a little bit dark though because this one is very like, it looks like a rave. Very like Coachella Burning Man-esque. I think that this will be perfect. So this whole time we've been doing this, I've been trying to think where in the real world does this actually make sense to use? Cause right now I'm only seeing it as a thing that like influencers would use, but like festivals, because I've heard that festivals are actually like kind of hot and miserable. So you dress comfy and then you wear the digital clothes in the picture so it looks like you got ready. The kicker though is I think with all of these outfits, even these more expensive ones, pretty sure I can only wear them one time. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> I gotta do sports bra with this one because I'm pretty sure the top is see-through. You look hot in that sports bra. <gasps> Percy Holmes, go watch your October 23rd. <laughs> we gotta make it quick. My hair is gonna fall out any minute. Ooh, that's gonna be so cool. I think this might be my favorite one. Okay, I'm really excited for this one. I'm really hoping it's decent. Here's the before. After. <laughs> what is the th Wait, what are these? What is this? Was I supposed to like wear nothing under this? Like I kind of wish there was a way that they could have just left those weird stickies and the underwear off of me. Cause then it would be pretty cool if it was just the yellow mesh and the pants. If those were gone, this probably could have been my favorite so far. Okay, we are headed to take pictures in the disco dress. This one is very like weird and artsy. So I feel like it kind of needed a weird artsy photo. <laughs> it's this place called Dreamscapes that's downtown. And it's one of those like interactive art exhibits that has a whole bunch of really cool spots for pictures. Ooh, this hall of mirrors could be cool for a picture. Oh, there's a disco ball in here, Tyler. I'm kind of nervous for this one. Like this is a cute picture. I'm nervous because the lighting was very odd on this one. So let's see how they did. Oh, it's a video. <gasps> Wait, play it again. I don't hate this at all. <laughs> In fact, I kind of love it. I think that I like these animated ones more because they're not meant to look like real, you know? I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but. Yeah. Okay, the last one. I picked somewhere very, very special to take the picture for the $1,400 outfit. You guessed it, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I decided to go easy on them for this one. Hopefully that means that the outfit looks extra good. Oh, I'm really nervous about this one. This was so much money. This was more money than all the other ones combined. Oh. Okay, so here's the before. Here's the after. <laughs> Whoa! 
Okay, that's kind of sick. I kind of look like a video game character. To be honest, now I'm kind of wishing I just like skipped the other ones and just got this one because. Oh my gosh, I just realized they edited out the Cheesecake Factory. <gasps> I'm literally gonna have them redo it. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> They probably thought they were doing me such a favor too. <laughs> I was interested to see how they were gonna blend like my leggings and my stomach in. It looks good. Is it $1,400 worth good? I don't know, that's up for debate. It's an interesting concept. And I think maybe in the future there will be a little bit more application for it. Maybe dress X is ahead of its time a little bit. Well, thanks so much for watching. Leo and I picked out some other videos down below that we thought you might enjoy. And we will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.